President Trump held a late night meeting with the National Rifle Association. The group's top lobbyist then tweeted that the president does not want gun control just a day after the president told bipartisan lawmakers he wanted comprehensive new legislation. Our chief White House correspondent John Carl has the latest. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. At this point, it's anybody's guess where the president stands on guns and school, on school safety. All part of a topsy-turvy couple of days here at the White House, where the president also rattled financial markets with an announcement that caught his own economic team by surprise. A day after shocking his closest allies by seeming to embrace new gun measures, President Trump revealed his secret meeting last night with the NRA's top lobbyist, tweeting, it was a good, great meeting in the Oval Office. The NRA's Chris Cox, who met with Trump and Vice President Pence, Thanks, suggested Wayne. the president may have once again Zion? changed his tone All on right. gun control. POTUS and V-POTUS support the Second Amendment, support strong due process, and don't want gun control. Just a day earlier, the president met with lawmakers in the White House and called for action on multiple gun measures opposed by the NRA, telling the group they shouldn't be afraid to take the NRA on. Some of you people are petrified of the NRA. You can't be petrified. One thing he embraced, taking guns away from people considered a threat, even without a hearing. I like taking the guns early. Take the guns first, go through due process second. That put the president at odds with the NRA and his Republican base. I still support him, but, but he and I are just going to have to disagree on this idea of due process. The Oval Office meeting with the NRA wasn't the president's only surprise Thursday. He also stunned markets and his own economic advisors by imposing new tariffs on steel and aluminum imports. So we're going to build our steel industry back and we're going to build our aluminum industry back. The move, which sent markets tumbling, deeply divided the president's economic team. The president's top economic advisor, Gary Cohn, had firmly opposed the tariffs, warning it would raise costs for American manufacturing and could trigger a trade war. Just an hour before the announcement, top White House aides were assuring people that the tariffs were not coming. I am told the president only decided to go forward as he was meeting with those steel executives that ultimately were by his side as he made the announcement. And George, look at this tweet this morning, another one sure to catch some of his top economic advisors by surprise. He said, when a country, USA, is losing many billions of dollars on trade and virtually every country it does business with, trade wars are good and easy to win. <laughs> He uh, goes on ending, it is easy. Uh, trust me, uh, some of his top economic advisors and most of most economists might take issue with yeah, that. Yeah, with the idea of a trade war being good. Meantime, the president is on a mini tweet storm this morning, including taking on Alec Baldwin. But you saw that trade wars are good tweet. Is it certain the president's going to follow through this announcement next week? And will Gary Cohn, his top economic advisor, leave if he does? First of all, nothing is sure around here, <laughs> but, but I, I tell you that White House officials are telling me the president fully intends to go through with this announcement next week. As for Gary Cohn, he fought tooth and nail to prevent this, and then he was caught by surprise when it happened. I've had several people here at the White House question whether or not he can stay here or whether he will resign. Okay, John Carl, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.